Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of July 20th through the 26th and this is a very general reading. Okay, so what do we see on the plate here? Huh, Virgo. Interesting. Let me see. Virgo, for some of you, you'll be dealing with a mother or a mother figure. This could be your mother or a female that represents like a mother. Um, this could be anyone. But I do see mother is coming into focus for some of you, okay? That I'm seeing. Some of you, you may have to make some kind of choice or decision about mother. That could be something that you're going to have to decide. Or for some, you're just having some kind of trust issues. Um, maybe you haven't been talking to your mother for a while. There is a sense of uh, stalling communication as well. So I'm seeing that energy coming through as well. Um, this could be also, for others, it can be news of a pregnancy, Okay, maybe you hear someone is pregnant, um, and it could be a surprise. That's another thing I'm seeing here. But also, there is good energy, and then there's kind of this scattered energy around as well. You're going to have to trust yourself. It's like there's some choice or decision that you may have to make, and it's got to do with maybe also your home, um, how you make money, or um, maybe adjusting your lifestyles. For some of you, it's maybe you're thinking of really moving. That's another thing that's coming through here as well, okay? All right, in the cup, let's see. Hmm. Virgo, you have a cycle that is coming up. It's closing up. It's like there's a sense of an anniversary or a significant date. Um, there is a yearly cycle that I'm seeing here, okay? So maybe for some of you, I'm, I can explain this in many ways, is either a very significant anniversary um, maybe something that you've started a year ago. Just say you've been on a diet and now it's a year later exactly and you see results. Um, there is something there. And it's abundant. It's you, There's been some growth. Uh, growth. Um, this is also an energy of, uh, it's kind of karmic. It's like you get what you deserve. Um, you reap what you sowed. So there's a return of energy here. It's like um, if you've done good, you're going to see some kind of blessings. If you have not been the best, then you're going to, you know, whatever you planted about a year ago, maybe, or just one cycle, it could be an, uh, an annual or something like that. It's like almost karma. It's, it's like what goes around comes around. You reap what you have sowed. But a lot of you, I see this as success. Um, but also it needed some kind of, um, um, effort. If you put the effort in it, you're going to reap the, the benefits of it. It's like working towards the future. For some of you, you may be starting a whole new cycle now too. So whatever you plant, the seeds you plant is what you're going to reap later. Okay. Um, and trying to turn some kind of inspiration into reality. So it's building upon some past efforts. If you started something maybe a year ago, now it's time to start again. So seeing this cycle, um, so to speak. All right. So that is showing up. Um, I do also see there is spiritual rebirth here. It's like life, death, rebirth. Um, that kind of energy is showing up, even spiritual uh, rebirth. For some of you, you may be giving birth, you know, literally giving birth because I see that energy too. So that time has come seeing something like that on the plate. You know, it's time to kind of shed the old skin and rebirth again. So that's one thing, too, that I'm seeing here as well. There's new beginnings. There's renewals, okay? Again, mother type of figure is showing up. Very feminine energy is uh, showing up, too. So planting your seeds, again, that is really strongly indicated here, starting some kind of new beginnings. Now, it's quite um, shiny here. So what I'm going to say, there is... Really good energy here. There's a sense of feeling whole. Um, there's, or, you know, there's a light out at the end of the tunnel. It's like a guiding light. Something may be guiding you, so, and it's a, it, it's in a good direction. You need to kind of open yourself up, though, because there's really some sunshine on your path ahead. It's like the universe is smiling on you, okay? So that is showing up, and I do see, for some of you, this could be, um, maybe you're feeling better. This is um good health, okay? So I do see that energy coming through as well. That's very nice. Some of you will be achieving success somehow or whatever endeavor you're at, so I do like that too. Now, I am seeing there is very nurturing energy here as well. You could be more business-focused, thinking of money, uh, making money, but also there is a responsibility with home and work. For some of you, maybe this is a home business and it's starting to grow as well, so I'm seeing that. 
Now, there is change of perspectives coming in, okay? You may be changing your mind. You may be updating some things, cutting things out. It's kind of a to-do list. What needs to be eliminated, what not. It's a sense of purging as well. Um, there is situations of people leaving your life. Whoever's not on your path uh, is almost maybe uh, pretty much eliminated or should be. So I do see that. And whoever does, just, you know, maybe you've been okay with someone for a while and now um, they're kind of leaving. That's another thing I'm seeing here as well. Now, I do see good um, energy here. For some of you, this is um, someone wants to help you out, uh, offers you some kind of love um, some kind of assistance, maybe you're invited or this is um, your in, uh, invitations or something like that. Very nice energy. I do see for some of you, this could be good news coming in. Uh, could be dealing with a water sign or someone who um, exhibits those energies. I do see that energy too. Um, I do see this should be some blessings coming in. Like I said, there's a sense of what goes around comes around. So there are some blessings here as well. Um, a new financial beginning or an offer may be coming through too. So there is a new beginning here that I'm seeing. But then, again, there is death and rebirth. We are seeing the end of a cycle. These are endings and closures showing up, too. So something is, like, um, done and is going to end. It's like change is inevitable from what I'm seeing. Um, you know, things must change. Something must go um, to start off new. So I'm seeing that energy as well. For some of you... You may be more to yourself, feeling more rebalanced. Elimination is in process here as well. And I do see it's like faded type of energy. So whatever has to go is going to go. Um, I do see here some of you may be dealing with someone who's very hard to read. This could be a boss, a brother. Um, it looks more masculine. Um, someone that's quite hard to read um, around you. It's hard. Like, what is that person thinking? All right, so I'm seeing that it could be someone is um, actually putting some borders up with you. This could be in a love relationship. Maybe someone just puts up their borders or they're keeping their borders up or telling you this is the limit. There is something, almost a sense of a little bit of restriction. It's like you can only get so close so far or something like that is showing up as well. Um, you're also going to be a lot to yourself, rethinking some things. A little, I think more confidence too, but I do see you may be um, coming up to make some kind of a uh, decision as well, okay? So you got quite a few things going on here. All right, uh, Virgo, um, what was I going to say? Check out my YouTube. I do post daily readings um, and daily birthdays. I hope you have a wonderful week. This reading was for the week of July 20th through the 26th. And I'll catch you back next week for our next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.